Dog Kathleen. I am the creator of Passenger Shaming. And I'm Matt Barnes, one of the owners at Rogue Aviation. And this is part three in a video series called... Helicopter Etiquette 101. Question. Yeah. Do we have a conversation during the flight or like, how's that work? Right, it's different because in a big jet, the pilots are up in the cockpit by themselves, but here you're right next to us. So that makes things a little bit different. And that brings us to rule number three, which is communication is key. So how does that work? Like, can we talk? Like, cause it's loud. Right, like in a big plane, you're not talking to the pilot, but in this case, you, you have to. So on a helicopter, everybody gets a headset. And it's amazing how often I turn around and find this happening. Belinda, is that your house right there? Hey, Belinda. Belinda. Hey, Belinda. 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 It's your house. Your house. Belinda. Put your headphones on. <laughs> headphones. <laughs> It's your house. So what's the biggest mistake? We're trying to talk like I don't know, like how? The biggest mistake? I've actually done whole flights where we land and the person's like, why wasn't anyone talking to me? And it was because their microphone was right here instead of right here. You got to make sure the thing is like right in front of your mouth the whole time. We got to be able to talk and communicate. What? What? We can't uh, hear you. Oh. We can't hear you, Aubrey. Dummy. Oh, my famous uncle lives in that house. Oh, no one awesome. cares about your famous uncle. So that's important to be able to talk, communicate, know what to do, what to expect. Okay. Yeah. I'm down with that one. Yeah. I like it. That is it for this episode. We will catch you on the next one. That's right. Be following at Rogue Aviation on Instagram for helicopter content. And passenger shaming on Instagram for non-helicopter gross content. Yeah, sure. Bye.